Hello folks, um, when we have a one, one of our favorite ideas and we've done, we've done several iterations of this, we try to come up with something which can be meaningful, something that people can try. One of my favorite ideas, this is idea of a zero error mock. I am a giant fan of this. Right? Um, I think every student should say, I want to, I'm going to take a mock to have one mock in their thing where they attempt LRDI, quant and BRC and they have zero errors. So I would go to the extent of saying, set that out as your primary tactic, primary objective. Move out after you have achieved this or nearly achieved this. And because I'm going to rewire the brain, lots and lots and lots of students struggle to get 45 marks overall in this paper, not 45 marks in a section, that's gigantic. And 45 marks overall in the paper is a, is a step too far for lots and lots of people. Very, very difficult to get 45 marks in this in this paper. And so, for, why? Because typically what happens is, we have a scenario where verbal attempts incorrect marks. And typically, in an average paper, this becomes like I'm attempted 12, I'm got 7 wrong, 5 correct, 5 into 3, 15, it will be 5 negative marks, 2 or T tag questions, 10 marks. In an RDI, one puzzle I kind of got, one I didn't get, in what I got, I got a couple wrong, and what I didn't get, I get a, I got more than a couple wrong. So I've attempted 9 questions, I've got 5 wrong, 4 into 3, 12, minus 4, 8 marks. And quant was, quant was tough, not that easy. I attempted eight questions, got three wrong, find three, 15, minus maybe two, 13 marks. And then I ended up with 10 plus eight, 18 plus 13, 31 marks totally. And I attempted 12, 21, 29 questions, nearly 30 questions, or 12 plus nine, 21, 29 questions totally resulting in 31 marks and so uh, this is, seems like a the very plausible very very um, likely uh, scorecard for, for several people on their journeys in this preparation this could be the final scorecard for several people as well this is a decent percentile not one that will open a ton of doors but it's not bad and so this is where many many people end up with and so and it feels like look how, how do i improve from this how do I even get out of this rhythm, this routine? And so, once, if you can change this and say, look, in verbal, 12 questions I attempted, but I was not at all sure about anything. I'm trying to attempt lots. I could have attempted two more, but I was thinking about the clock and I did this. One passage I understood, two para jumbles here, nice and easy. I was very confident. So, I attempt seven questions, one passage. Four questions, one para summary, two para jumbles that I was confident about. These three I got right, in that I got three right, only one incorrect. This goes to 20. In LRDI, one puzzle I got right. That's it. In quant, my home territory kind of place that I really like is arithmetic. Five questions were there, I attempted them, got them right. One more I found easy, I attempted that, I got that right. Okay. 20 plus 15, 35 plus 18 is 53. Number of questions, 7 plus 5, 12 plus 6, 18. And so lots of times, this, this, this number, this thing, and so this is, is magical, it rewires your brain. I am attempting 30% questions fewer, 40% questions fewer almost, but my mark is up 60%. Right? The number of questions is down by 40%, 35%, score is up by more than 50%. And so it's, if you were stuck here, and you manage to have one mock that goes like this, it rewires your brain. It tells you 
the chasing attempts is not the thing having a sense of control over the exam is the thing that you don't need to be rushed and frenzied all the time you can be calm and approach this in a relaxed exam this is not a speed 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 exam but a, like i got this belief exam and right? if you can see this once very well attempted 18 questions i've got 53 marks i put one question wrong somewhere how did i put 53 marks 18 questions i made some mistake with the math i think 7 into 3 21 okay this is not 20 this is not 20 i'll fix the math six correct and one wrong 17 17 plus 15 32 plus 18 50 not 23 that's all right that's all right now the idea remains the same so you the score is fantastically about this this number is far lower than this once if you can achieve this i put zero error mark what i mean is, is near zero error in this paper totally what i'm doing 18 questions but only one incorrect that was in verbal which you thought was right but you got caught up if you can pull this off if you can pull off one paper where you attempt 18 questions and get 50 marks your attitude towards chasing attempts working in a frenzy feeling rushed uh, lacking belief worrying about everything gets rewired and so you get this belief that oh, it could be a tough paper but ye to ho jayega mere se ek paragraph padhna hai do para jumble karna hai wo kar dunga main and one para summary yeah that i can do one puzzle only only one puzzle five questions i get all of them right i'm through on my day i can finish one puzzle in 25 minutes five minutes for decision making i have 10 more minutes do teen tita guess marta hu ek karta hu ek aur aa jaye this will go higher arithmetic questions and one or two more six ye to ho jayega from here if you think can i improve there is every chance that this goes to nine attempt one right this goes to one wrong this goes to seven attempts everything right this goes to nine attempts one wrong which is a magical score nine attempt one wrong 8 into 324 assume that's not an error thing this goes to 24 7 and 0 is 21 9 and 1 is 24 minus 1 23 44 68 you're good you're good from a, a 31 you've gone to a 68 by just a couple of tweaks and so this has worked magically for me a lot of our guys who have taken the exam lots and lots of our students the idea that you will take a mock or a few mocks with the big headed notion that i'm willing to sacrifice the score but i'm not willing to compromise on accuracy i will get low marks but i'll get nothing wrong i'll answer so few questions that nothing is wrong in them i'll narrow down this exam to only stuff that i'm confident in that gives you this layer of ye ho jayega what i'm confident in can take me to 50 marks then after that you can kind of increase your risk your risk appetite and measure your risk and take chances and all of that but it's, it it rewires your brain to to if you can get this then you start feeling that i cannot get below 50 right i'm not getting out of bed for this i have control over this 50 to ho hi jayega now without compromising on my attitude to accuracy can i see if i can steal one or two more questions in each section if i can manage that if i select two more two more two more at 18 more marks i'm not at 50 i'm at 68 yeah now it seems like 50 to 70 this is gentle journey not one giant i don't know what's happening type of thing and so there is there is every chance that you're sitting here with with no sense of where your marks are going to come from how are you going to attempt and you need to see this ones where you have us have the confidence and belief of not getting stuck from so work on it take 2 3 4 marks with the absolute intention of getting zero questions wrong and getting every single thing right have that as your intention and attack it whole heartedly over and over two three times once you go close to it or you achieve it 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 has a magical effect on the way you think start feeling that ye ho jayega i got this i got this exam and from then on you are going on increments from there not not having a volatile score chart so this something has worked for me worked for a lot of our guys lot of our students they come back and said look this this really helped me definitely give it a go and do share your thoughts on on, on whether it worked for you what worked what didn't work all that best wishes